All right, here we have system test seven or eight. I don't know. I haven't done them in a while. So oh, the wires are a mess because I had to redo a bunch of things. But I don't know if I should listen to the last system test or not, but I have some FPL wire that are actually hooked up. I don't have the wire mold yet, so it looks very ugly with all the wires. But anyways, I guess I should get to the devices. So the first device here is a Firelight BG12, not it's the older one because it's not branded by Honeywell. Going up, we have the same GE smoke detector. Um, I'm trying to stick with photoelectric smoke detectors for um, now because the I had this actually. I had I'll show you. I had this Edward smoke detector by the living room, if you remember that location for it. Um, and it would always go off every time we turn the oven on, and there might not even be anything in the oven, but it would always go off. So I replaced it with full electric, and it hasn't falsed yet, thankfully. So, yep, so there's the BG-12 here, there's the GE, and then here I have the same um, Gentex remote strobe. I forget the model number offhand, but I will... I think it's GXS, actually. So. And then, in the hallway here, I've got a Commander 3 set to Code 3 Chime. And the panel is, surprisingly, the panel is on continuous right now and there's no system troubles. Which is actually surprising. Because every time I tried to put it on continuous, it would always give me a trouble. So I had to leave it on March time for the longest time. In the living room, I have my Wheelock MT24IS, I believe. And this is set to code 3 tone. And I've got my Simplex 4098 detector. I believe it's 4098. And then in here, I have my Wheelock MPS 200. I'll have to look when I activate it, but yep, dual action. So let's test them. Let's do the Wheelock. Not be that must not be connected. Uh, and the realize you hear clicking is I didn't set NAC two to um, continuous. I only set NAC one because I only have NAC one hooked up. That's weird. I must not have hooked that up correctly. But glad we tested it. So I'm going. I think I reset it already. So I'm going to. Do the smoke detectors now. I'll bring my keys with me just in case if I... Actually, yeah, we'll do the smoke detectors and then I'll do the pull station in my room. Here we go. There we go. Yep, so first floor smoke and first floor pull. Let's do the smoke alarm or smoke detector in my room, I should say. And the good thing about this one is it actually has it labeled where 
it says to test. So I'll angle it so you can see the light. There we go. Alright, so in order for me to test the pull station here, I'll have to reset the panel because the smoke detector and this pull station are in the same zone. So I'm just going to go double check that I did reset the, yep, that's reset. Yeah, it's reset. I'll put my keys down. Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's reset it. And that should go out anytime now. Sorry, my hand's shaking. Here. I've got one for the RSG and one for this because the RSG one is slightly smaller. So let's pull it. You can see the strobe. Yeah, let's reset it. Let's close it back up. There we go. gonna put them back. I don't know why I have two for the RSG, but I do. So there's the two sizes, and let's reset. Sorry if my hands are shaking. I'm trying to do two things at once. There we go. All right, so that concludes this system test. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Have fun.